Hey, you ones, welcome back to my channel. It's Winnie BLB, Mouth of the South. No intro, no outro. <gasps> what? It's just this ho. Today's video, exciting. Yes, it is June 1st, girl. We are on top of, guess what? That's right, the beginning of Pride Month. I am so excited. Pride is a fabulous time, of course, to celebrate LGBTQ+, and also everything in June is so cheery and amazing and rainbowish, and I'm all the way here for that. And so, my friend, Fuchsia Floyd, if you haven't gone to her channel, please do so. She's great. She just started her channel, so... When she asked me if I would be into doing, like, our rainbow items to bring in Pride Month, I was like, uh, hell yes. <laughs> so, this was her idea, but I'm very, very touched and happy and glad that she included me to collab with. So, I have a few rainbow items, as you know, because that is probably my most favorite um, colorway as far as wearing something or carrying something or SLGs. I just, I love a good rainbow moment. I always have since I was a little kid and I think I was like five or six with my bell bottoms that had embroidered um, rainbow across the butt that went up one leg across my butt and down the other leg. I, I could not wear those enough. My mom could not keep those washed enough for me to put those back on. But anyway, my obsession with rainbows is long and hard. Wait. And my obsession with you know what is too. <laughs> that did sound dirty. Of course you know that I meant for it to. So now that we're on the same page, when the video is over, um, if you haven't already gone to Fuchsia Floyd's channel, go over through the link and watch her video all the way through and give it a thumbs up, a like, subscribe to her, subscribe to me if you aren't already, hit a like, hit the comment section, I will get back to you as soon as I can. My bag of the day, we'll go ahead and get that out of the way, is still the ruby, but we did change into her. Um, the sparkle over the weekend because my daughter had her wedding. I'll put a picture up somewhere, let you see uh, <laughs> us kind of fixed up and dressed up. That was a nice event. It was a good wedding and uh, it was a very nice day for a wedding. It was a nice day for a white wedding. I already had a baby, so <laughs> I mean, white wedding. Anyway, it was a nice day for a fabulous wedding. This bag back here I pulled her out because I feel like it's a little bit rainbow it's got a lot of different colors it's the uh, Murakami hands so I figured why not we won't maybe include it in the video but we'll, we'll put it back there as a nod to some rainbow stuff anyway let's get into this video I'm gonna start out with some little stuff that I have girl um, stuff SLGs and stuff like that's the only damn thing she's got little I'll just tell you all right now well there's one other thing but we won't talk about him right now girl look last year remember during pride I had to or was it right after it might have been right after last summer last summer I very sing song each day it that's every day right okay um I had to have the pouch the card holder the phone case and the bag all in this this is all she has left. I sold all the pieces because I wasn't reaching for them. I never used them. So after almost a year went by, I was like, yeah, uh, goodbye. I love you. I think you're gorgeous, but I don't carry you, reach for you or anything. And so, yeah, I gotta go. So I did get rid of everything except for this. And notice I have not put anything in here. But I want to. Um, another SLG that really is rainbow to me. Um, it is a Kurt Geiger. And this was a gift from Autumn Beckman. Thank you so much. I do love this one. Um, it's sort of metallic. It is uh, blues here. And then the back has the yellow, orange, and pink. Which I think is adorable. And it's kind of a little floppy and flexible. And that is all we need, girl. That's all we need. Just like it, it said on that one movie. Okay. I do have this 
which came from Amazon for like a dollar eighty-five. I would post, but Amazon changed their associates links. You can't really link anything anymore. It's all now. Uh, you have to create your own storefront, and I gotta be honest with you. I just need to sit down and read it, and maybe figure it out, or have one of my kids. Isn't that what we do? It's just kind of. Here, figure this out for me. And in two seconds, they've got it all set up. But I don't. Uh, so, yeah, linking Amazon things, kind of difficult for me. But if you search um, Murakami flower or um, multicolored flower, rainbow flower, whatever, keep searching. This will come up. Uh, but I used it as a bag charm on my uh, petite sack plait, which I sold last week. Girl, she's gone. <laughs> Also, Gwenny got me this last year for my birthday. Uh, I think I showed it in a recent video. You've seen it a few times. I do put it on my coach bag. But it is also Rainbow Girl. Yes, the rainbows. This I got last year during Pride. Um, the snap on this is very tight. But it's also a little card holder slash crossbody. And I did wear... I wore it to actually uh, shop at Coach last year before we had all our run-ins. And... Um, so yeah, I, I have ordered a couple of pride pieces, but they haven't gotten here at the time that I am recording this video. So I'm going to have a haul video in a couple weeks, and I will include those in that. And I'll probably buy a couple more things just in case. I know, she can't be stopped. This little jewel that sits back here, I bought um, in the winter time. I don't remember if it was just maybe around February, but a few months back, I bought this Kurt Geiger Kensington um, in the beautiful neon and I kind of think this goes together I think I can when I carry this um, and I am going to keep this and carry it I'm not going to end up selling this one I think this is gorgeous um, with that neon yellow chain and the little their emblem the little eagle's head or whatever I love this I love the two together so yeah you guys see this sitting back here so this one is a new uh, bag to my collection and if I can find it I will link it it should be available, or they should have a lot of cool, like, really nice Pride stuff just starting out right now, right? I hope so. Woo -hoo -hoo. I wore this shirt today because I thought, you know, it's very rainbow. I think this one down here is the rainbow Rolling Stones lips. And another bag that I feel like is kind of rainbow-ish because it has all these rainbow cute dots. The Von Dutch bag bowling bag because bowling bags were supposed to be all the rage this year although i haven't seen a whole lot and i haven't reached for this one yet um doesn't say it doesn't mean i won't but these are sold out so i'm very lucky um i got this one i did i think it's totally cute it's a little mini bowling bag bag from von dutch uh everything old coming back again isn't that the way don't get rid of nothing just store it away for 10 or 20 years it'll come right back guys <laughs> So this one I think is very, very cute. That's awful for me to suggest that to you. I recommend that, but then she never does it herself. So I'm always a day late and a dollar short. I always think, oh, wow, that's a really good markup. I'm going to make a few hundred dollars on this piece. And then <laughs> turns out if I'd waited a while, I could have made a thousand dollars on a certain, you know what I mean? But that's okay. Oh, this is something that I got last year from Coach that I am crazy about. These Pride Slides, um, they have several different new ones on the site. Um, if they go on sale today, because it's Memorial Day when I'm filming this, I might snag a pair in red because remember, last year I really wanted the red. I ordered an A in men's, not knowing that I'd ordered men's. They were too big. I ended up getting them such at a great deal. I ended up turning around and selling them for a profit. <laughs> So, you know me, not much, but I did. So, I love these. These are actually pretty comfortable. It's hard for me to wear slides. Um, if you guys remember last year, I made, I DIY'd um, some LV fabric onto a slide and made my own slides for like 75, 80 bucks material-wise. Um, I do have a video of that if you want to go watch that one but I did that and I wore those the other day and I actually had to take those off because my feet hurt so bad from those slides so if there's a little cushion to the slide and these have a little bit and even my um, Gucci ones do but those ones that I DIY no ma'am she can't wear them um, I'm gonna have to gift those on to my daughter because 
they hurt. I mean, they hurt my one foot. Like, I feel like my foot is breaking. I think I had that, like, fasciitis or something. I can't remember what my doctor said. I probably have. I haven't really delved into it much because if I wear comfortable shoes, it doesn't really bother me. But those slides, girl, ugh. I gotta be careful with slides. Remember I went crazy for them and it turns out I couldn't wear over half the ones that I bought last year. So, the obsession rages on. Um, this I bought a couple years ago during Pride and it's the thing, I keep all of my SLGs and tiny bags and stuff in that I don't display. They're all in here, that's why it's so heavy and filled. But this is the um, canvas tote that they, I think they brought this back again last year in camo, but it does have the Rexy, the Pride Rexy and the rainbow. So I love this. I think it's so cool. Usually the men's line carries the canvas tote like that, but I think it makes a great bag. I just love to store all my stuff in it. Um, but yeah, it turned out it's more for storage than anything. This little number you've seen a few times. Um, one of my last few backpacks, I hardly have any backpacks in my collection again, but I'm starting to get the feeling that I want some, Ugh, girl. But this has the whole little slogan. Uh, the backpack Mark Jacobs is not designed for hiking or climbing because we do not know the first thing about the great outdoors. So true. Uh, but I just thought this was very cute, the Mark Jacobs Pride uh, backpack. Everything on it is such a vibrant, very nice color on this. I love the multi rainbow across the, I just love it. The, look at the zipper, how cute. Blue, it's got a little purple D-ring. I'm, I'm, I don't think I'll get rid of this. I really don't, I love it. And this, the small Lily um, that I bought at the outlet a few months back. I went in there, just ran in there real quick. Uh, in the one in Asheville, it's just, kind of close to me and I bought this little cute bag which has the rainbow um, strap god I can't think today and then it has a little rainbow here embroidered in the different colors so I wanted to include it today because it's so cute I wore it for St. Patty's Day um, I just think it's adorable I actually probably will end up selling this because I don't reach for it so but I do think it's cute we'll see we'll see <laughs> This coach bag, I do actually have it for sale. If you guys are interested, um, it's I never have taken it out. Remember last year during Pride because my daughter's birthdays, well, all my kids' birthdays are in July. Um, my two girls were born on the same day, eight years apart. So I bought her this bag. Turns out she wanted the, um, the Georgie bag instead. So... She really, she was like, can you return it? And I was like, yeah, but then I didn't end up returning it. So I got stuck with it. I just didn't love, um, it has little flowers. If this had just all been one color and she felt the same way too, instead of these little tiny flowers, which is a detail I should have looked at, but I didn't, I just grabbed it up. Um, but yeah, I thought this was a cute little pride moment last year. Um, so yeah, if, if you guys, anybody's interested, 180, I will ship it to you. If anybody wants to email me on it, WinnieBLV at Gmail, first person with the PayPal payment of 180, will get it and I will mail it out to you uh, as soon as I can. But yeah, I'll take care of shipping on it. I'll ship it right to your door, girl. But anybody that's into this, let me know. Uh, but I do still have that. Got stuck with that girl and I just, I won't carry it. I have several t-shirts that I, <laughs> I still have the playpen up in here. Um, this was supposed to be like, I think that's, it's called Valone, I think. It's a really neat t-shirt. Um, anyway, it's got the V with the Murakami Anyhow, that is a very cute t-shirt. I've worn it a couple times on videos. This one I think is supposed to be like a Virgil. Um, what's this company called? <laughs> I'm terrible. Um, Off-White. I think, is it this? It's supposed to be like an Off-White, but it's made on a, on a Gildan shirt. So I got it off of Etsy. Um, you know, 30, 40 bucks. 
I run across a cute shirt and I'm like, yes, or maybe even eBay. I can't remember. This one is an actual Versace t-shirt that I bought last year for Christmas. I got on sale. Um, it's the Lady Gaga and Versace and Born This Way T, the 10 year anniversary of that album release. But yeah, it's got the Versace on the front. I've worn it in a, in a video before too. What's next? This one is the Kate Spade that went with. So yeah, when I bought everything in that Kate Spade, <laughs> girl, she bought everything they had in this pride collection. I really loved it so much. Um, so yeah, we have that t-shirt. We have another one of these. This was just an Etsy purchase. It's actually really too big. I should go on and give it to my son because he could probably wear it, but I think I've worn it in a video and it just, it just swallows me. <laughs> it's just very, very big. And normally she likes being so, okay. Yeah, that was nasty. I get it. Yeah. Uh, and this, I do have another, I could not find it. So I have a couple, maybe three Coach Pride t-shirts and one on the way, but I thought this was cute. I can't remember if this was last year or the year before. Uh, maybe the year before and then I have one that's like an embroidered with the horse and carriage that's um, pride and it's all it's kind of a graduated rainbow too but I who knows but I have a couple of these and I wore the blue one the other day that's kind of more ombre not really rainbow but I do think it was a pride shirt I might be wrong but anyhow so there's the t-shirts that I have that are rainbow I think I've shown you everything except the biggest things in my collection that are rainbow that I still am loving. And I hope I didn't miss anything, but man, oh man, I went around like a couple times like rainbow, rainbow, I could wear it. So this, which I bought from Fashion File and I'm still loving, this is a great travel piece, overnight bag, whatever. Uh, probably would be good for school. That's probably what it was, a kid's backpack for school. Um, and somebody asked me one day why it says Burberries, and I don't know why, um, but some of the Bur Burberry stuff does say Burberries. Um, and I don't know if it's because it's a child, it was mid, you know, made in the child collection. I'm not really sure. But it does have the nice Burberry um, across the front in the rainbow. It just says Burberry on the back. There's no S on the little ID card thing back here. But yeah, it does do that. And and I looked it up and there was, I can't, I don't remember the reason, but it's okay. It's an authentic Burberry piece. So we're good, guys. The last thing that I have that is even close to being rainbow is the big dog here, my Chanel uh, 21S from last year that I bought and had to have, and I still absolutely love. You know, guys, I don't think I'll, um, I, unless I just run up on a very good pre-loved item from Chanel, I don't think I'll, you know, b barring makeup, lotion, things like that, um, perfumes, I probably won't venture out to ever buy. I'm, I'm satisfied with just having the one little bag and <laughs> I don't really care. Uh, not that I don't, I don't think Chanel is great. I just, for me, it's kind of lost its luster. I got the one bag and I'm pretty satisfied and purse pieced about it. I really am. So I don't really look for Chanel. I mean, if one pops up and it's just a really insane good price, maybe, maybe, uh, maybe a vintage piece like Yota just got, but I actually had that. <laughs> I had the Cambone tote like she just got, um, but I sold it cause I never used it. So there you go. Um, I've had a couple of few little Chanel pieces and I'm, I'm done. I, but this one I love because it has, um, uh, Jessie told me about this, that, um, of Jessie style. Uh, she told me that this was like, um, Brazilian wish, um, bracelet maybe that they make. And that's where they got their inspiration to make this really cool rainbow looking handle but i just love this bag um i probably won't ever get rid of it never say never but i don't think i will i like it um i got it out to carry it to the wedding but i ended up carrying as you saw in the picture of that one instead 
So there we go. That is pretty much all of my rainbow stuff. Hopefully I'll get more. Um, you'll see me hauling some more stuff from Pride because it is the first day of Pride. And girl, that stuff will come out fast and furious. And I've noticed on a lot of things, if you don't get it when you see it, this is how it is with the Pride stuff. People scoop it up because rainbows are just, they make you happy, guys. They make you, I don't know, they just... They just tickle me. Uh, rainbow stuff just tickles me to death. I love it, love it, love it. Um, and so there you go. That is it. Um, my scent of the day, though, girl. It's actually a layering day. And we went in with Bitter Peach. And then we went in on top of that with the Jo Malone Nectarine Blossom and Honey. Which, I mean, these two together are amazing. You talking about smelling peachy, you do. Sometimes I just wake up and I go, mmm. I want to smell like a peach today <laughs> and whoops sorry that is the Tom Ford bitter peach and the Jo Malone nectarine blossom and honey so smelling good feeling good Billy Ray looking good Lewis all right <laughs> hope you guys have a great rest of your day um, I will see you back here on Saturday <sighs> Lord willing and the creek don't rise we are going to show um, Prada unboxing I uh, not Prada. Am I losing it or what? Fendi. Fendi. I get Fendi and Prada. I don't know why. Interchangeable. It's crazy of me, but <laughs> I actually broke down and I did buy a Fendachi piece. Who is she? Why did she do it? I don't know. It's the hype. I was influenced and yes, I did it. And I already had uh, a piece of Fendi that I was going to unbox for you. So hopefully both of those pieces will come in. The other piece, one piece is here, but the Fendachi piece will come in and I will be able to show it to you on Saturday. If not, I don't know what we'll do, but it'll be fun. I promise. Come back and see me. Thank you so much. Go to Fuchsia Floyd's channel. Check out all of her rainbow pieces. I will be excited to see. She did. She sort of eyeing me and said, do you, should I show you and tell you? And I was like, no, no, let's let it be a surprise. I'm always tickled to watch it when everybody else watches it. So I will link her down below. Have a great rest of your week. And listen, if y'all see my husband, please. Girl, don't tell him nothing. Bye. It is the end of the school year. It's happy and sad. My little girl, she does school at home all year round anyway. So, you know, it's nothing new to me. But I did, you know, ask her the other day, well, how, do you, how did you do in your classes? And she was like, oh, I think I made a B in this class. And um, I think I made uh, an A in this class. And oh, this one, I'm sure I made an A. And I was like, we were driving in the car. And without missing a B, girl, I said, <laughs> I said, well, great. Three nights ago, I got a big D. <laughs> and then after that, I got an F. <laughs> Why? My kid was like, <sighs> gross. Yeah, girl. <laughs> and girl. <laughs> Bitch. Bill has promised me an oral exam later, too. What?